What about you? Well, I did promise I would talk you all through. <laughs> I did promise I would take you all through my eating routine for the day. Uh, but first of all, let's start with the coffee. Redemption Roasters. It is from Santa Barbara. Taste notes apparently are sparkling tropical honeydew melon. There we go. So if you'd like me to do a proper how-to video on how I brew coffee, comment below and I'll be sure to get that fired together. In the meantime, I will tag everything that I use in the description below. On the food then, I like to, the way, I, the way I tend to work is I go on like a 12 hour intermittent fast. Not because I purposely do it, but because it's just the way I naturally eat anyway. What that means is I would finish eating at maybe 9, 10, 11 at night and then it would be 9, 10, 11 in the morning before I would have my breakfast. And I don't stick strictly to this. Fancy some needle habit, because I think with everything, no matter what you're eating or doing, it's got to be sustainable. And that goes for, sorry, and that goes for training, eating, everything you do in life. It's no, it's no point um, racing out of the starting blocks doing something that you know is simply not sustainable, and you can't keep that going long term. For breakfast is usually a couple of poached eggs and a couple of bits of bacon. For most of my other meals, I actually get from a place called Ellie's in Lisburn. I get two meals a day for six days a week, and there's two deliveries, so it's all nice and fresh. And it is full of good, wholesome foods. It's full of a variety that probably, if I'm honest, I wouldn't make myself, just because I, uh, I enjoy cooking, but I would just leave out a lot of vegetables, if I'm honest. So this keeps me true and keeps me on a nice balanced diet and basically I can then judge I don't really calorie count or I don't really track too much I just in my head I have 500 calories roughly per meal most are between 450 to 500 so I have that in my head and then from that I will plan out my day in my head I think at the start maybe you should if you're if this is something you're just starting you should track just so you can get used to it. Portion size is one that will catch a lot of people out. Again, Ellie sorts this out. I don't need to worry about that. So I plan that roughly my three meals are about 500 calories, which is 1500 obviously. And I like to roll in about 2000 in the day. Any, well, anywhere between 18 to 2000. And that, that varies depending on if I've had a high training session or if I'm just having a rest day. If we take the 1500 calories from three meals, gives us roughly a treat in there whether that be a protein bar or a donut <laughs> or a homemade treat or something like that so then that plans out my day nicely it's dead easy if you're not wanting to go to Ellie's then I strongly suggest you start planning on your planning your week out in my experience if you don't meal prep it doesn't work and right, currently I am sitting at 69 kilos comfortably I can go anywhere between 68 to 70, but generally around the 69, which I'm happy and healthy at, full of energy, and I go to the gym four days a week. Let's make the old poachies. So that's breakfast served three poached eggs and two bits of 
maple cured bacon, weighing in roughly about just under 400 calories. I'm gonna go and destroy this, and then I'll come back and talk to you about Ellie's meals, and maybe some supplements. Breakfast was lovely. I just topped the eggs off with a wee bit of this, which is garlic chili salt from the Wiltshire Chili Farm. So on to Ellie's then. Ellie's, um, again, they are in Lisburn, and you can order online now. Their website is live and up and running. It's ellieshealthykitchen.co.uk and I'm looking down here because I've got one of their meals. So this is a typical meal. As you can see this one is sun dried tomato, coriander, chili, noodles, sweet peppers and onion. And on this we have all the calories per meal. So actually this one's quite low in calories, it's 409. But that just means I'll offset that and maybe have a wee treat. So it's got all calories, fat, saturated fat, carbs, sugar and protein. So again, if you are tracking your calories, you can stay on track of all that. You can see here, hopefully, you can see here, and the smells beautiful. I, I know you'll not get it, but trust me, you've got the noodles and all the peppers and some dried tomatoes. Yum, yum. I find whenever I was cooking and meal prepping myself, I would have ate the same thing all the time. And sooner or later, you just get fed up with that. Whereas Ellie's, they're always changing the menu up. You're always getting something new each week, and it is lovely as well. For anyone's interested in supplements I take, let me just grab them. Though it may be a surprise, may not be a surprise, but literally the only supplement I'm taking at the minute is this here, it's magnesium. It helps me get to sleep, and it also helps my body to recover. And I only take this supplement because I have found that it does work, it does help me sleep, and does help, help me relax at night. I currently don't have any protein powder, BCAAs, creatine, any of that, because um, quite frankly, if you have a nice balanced diet, you don't really need it. I would use protein powder in my treats, I just don't have any at the minute, but I wouldn't really take a protein shake or any of that. Again, keep a nice, healthy, balanced diet, and I don't think you need a wild lot else other than that. That's the end of the, the eating guide and supplement guide. I'm not sure if it's a surprise, anything groundbreaking or whatever, but it's a wee insight into my daily day of eating. Sorry for rumbling on there. Uh, it's a bit of a different one. We're just, it's talking head stuff. So hopefully it's kept you engaged all the time. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If it helped you, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.